This episode is about how to create user groups. You now want to go ahead and think about users and user groups. Go to the administration view again and change to user management. Before we start to add users or user group, let's consider a typical setting in an educational context. There's you, the system administrator, and most likely there will be a full professor who will be the super user. Perhaps the admin or the full professor or the teacher is the same person in your setting. And perhaps there's a guest or a research partner that you want to invite as a viewer of your models. These are the default users. Very commonly, there are faculty members and associates or assistants. There are students and there are guests, perhaps even guests of students. For these persona, you want to create user groups and name them architects, designer and viewer. Now, let's go ahead and create these user groups. Add the user group architects and assign license privileges to this group. Now repeat these steps for the user group designer and grant designer privileges. Same for the user group viewer. Grant viewer privileges. 